pop away as soon as you open your mouth. Honestly, how could your boss or your coworkers let you go alone on a mission like this? Because this operation was at my personal request. I've been a public security officer for years now, but I still can't get over my phobia of ethereals. I've screwed up a few operations, and these days, I always get benched. Well, life at public security always seems to come with its fair share of trouble. Do you really need to keep track of random discussions? Absolutely. Anyone who's experienced life out in the streets knows that if you want to understand someone, you need to know how they truly live and think. These security officers might just be chatting, but they actually re revealed quite a lot of useful information. For example, these guys from General Affairs may see us as their superiors from the Criminal Investigation Department. Hey, are you two from the next precinct over? You're in the right place. Code name Operation Watch and Wait. I'm always in Team 4 of Criminal Investigations at the 12th Precinct, and I'm in charge of today's operation. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm Delaney from General Affairs at the 11th Precinct, and this is Huggins. All right, I hear you, Christina V. We humbly apologize if we caused any offense just now. We'll cooperate in full and carry out all orders to finish the mission. You don't have to be. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Zenwa Zone Zero. It is the next day, of course. It's you know like only like almost going on ten here, so you know, like, two hours earlier than yesterday when I started recording a little bit. And I only re recorded a little bit yesterday because I thought I was going to, you know, make sure that I had five videos and that there would be no other footage going over. But I went over again. So now I need to record... What I'm actually going to do here is just finish the Nekomata story quest and then tomorrow, when I'm on the game, I'm going to go through the um, weekly uh, abyss, whatever thing. See you later, sucker. I'm just here to finish the Nekomana story quest tonight, and then I'll do something else. Um, the space here seems day. pretty unstable. We've reached the deployment point. Apparently, the there's now. supposed to be a dead space uh, event <laughs> going on in um, Battlefield 2042, so I'm re-downloading that to play that with Winston. A hollow shift has just occurred. You are now in an area affected by spatial distortion. Great. A hollow shift wasn't part of our plan. Don't panic, that's normal. I've dealt with it. Master, we found an old projector. I can play its memory data for you. Down. Right. Up. Down. Hmm. No need. I have discovered a note. I suggest picking it up and taking a look. The note reads, Red is a liar. Oh, you know, you know what? That probably is right. It's the exit! I was about to say, why am I going a bit slower with the TVs? I'm trying to direct. I just said that I'm downloading Battlefield 2042 again. It really sucks that there's still no PS5 to PS4 crossplay. Can't play the PS5 version of that game and get more trophies until Winston gets the PS5. I'm not much of in a rush to play through the game right now, as I have already gotten the current event wish character and don't really know if I'm going to pull on the next one at all until she's out. I think it's she. So, 
I think, honestly, after I do my next weeklies, I might start just doing stuff with this PS Premium subscription so it's not wasted. That probably would be a smart idea to do. Now, fuck you. Copy that. As of today, I have released the second out of the four Zenwa Zone Zero music videos that I have made. And then I have two more to upload still. Coming in. I've also downloaded Persona 3 Reload, uh, the trial. The, I think it's three hour trial. And I've talked before how I'm going to be doing that with Winston. So, we're gonna go through the demo if he gets on today. Even though we're, I've just talked about how I'm downloading Battlefield 2042 because of the Dead Space event. There's no way Winston has that downloaded, so like, in the meantime, we can do that, because it's only going to be three hours, and until I actually get the game myself, we're not going to be able to do it again anyway. So, you know, make a little progress in that, because why not? Uh, never mind, I will hold the rest of my thoughts. first two locations would surely be suitable. Lucky we didn't spend too much time on them. Oh, it's so nice to have such an elite on the team. Officer Ollie, you've achieved incredible success at such a young age. Could you tell us which school you graduated from? Which school? <clears throat> oh, right. This is me. Argyle's campus. Yeah, it was Argyle's campus. Hey, isn't that the school where tuition is free? Huggins, watch your mouth. Sorry, Officer Ollie. Huggins didn't mean anything bad about your old school. It's just, you're so skilled, we thought you must be from an elite academy. So, which year did you graduate? Oh, that's me again. Class of 45. This probably can't Class be good. 45. Huh? 45? Wasn't that years ago? Oh, the boy. graduates from that class must be nearly 40 now, right? Nekomana, this is where you say that you have a perfect disguise. This isn't even my real identity. Yeah, but ma'am, you don't even look 30, let alone 40. Uh... 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 This might be difficult, Belle, but now's not the time to go blank. Hurry up and think of something. Hang on. Officer Ollie, could it be that your real identity is in fact M my real identity? A child prodigy who skipped grades to get into the academy super early for her age? Huh? Uh, uh you got me. I can't hide anything from you. I was actually an orphan who was taken in. My foster mom was always so kind to me, but she made some bad investments. So our finances were never good. Ah, I see. What are we on about? So you're the oldest in a family with lots of foster siblings. You lived in a tiny house at the mercy of the elements. Your whole family squeezed into but a single bed. As the oldest kid, you'd secretly eat moldy crusts while carving off mm. the good bits of bread to share with a smile for your younger siblings. Wow, sounds like an old soap opera. That's why! To keep costs down at home, you chose to enroll at the Argyles campus, which has lower age limits and free tuition! Okay. Actually, you pretty much nailed it. But lots of company-affiliated schools have free enrollment, too. What? To become a public security officer? Hmm. Well, before I went into foster care, I wasn't a good kid. This one time, what? I overestimated my abilities against a really bad person. And nearly ended up losing my life for nothing. Nekomana, you gotta stop making up a story here because Ollie is gonna have a lot of work to do trying to get his way out of explaining this stuff when he meets these people again. But even with all that, someone still stood up for me, protected me, and accepted me. It might have been unintentional, but for me, it was like coming home to a dream home. So if I could. I also wanted to protect something with my own hands. To pay it forward. <laughs> I understand. You chose to become a public security officer to protect others. <laughs> no 
wonder you're in charge of this operation at such a young age. Your morals are beyond reproach. I only became an officer to show up to the ladies. I'm just a piece of dirt compared to you. You what? <sighs> After hearing about your past, I realize I really don't have any dreams of my own. I only took this job for its pension perks. Uh, don't be like that. I think it's good to have dreams based in reality. Besides, our reasoning for joining the force might be different. But aren't we all fighting to protect this city? Day in, day out? Wow, Officer Ollie. You're so kind. As a fellow public security officer, I'm filled with pride. I'll have to redouble my efforts to be deserving of such words. Sorry, ma'am. Huggins gets emotional easily. Don't mind him. Let's push on and check out the next location. This area is prone to spatial displacement. Not a good spot. Let's head to another deployment point. Man, get me the hell out of here. You know, even with this PS, PS Premium subscription, I don't even know what the hell I'm going to be playing with it. Like, if I put Zone Zone Zero on a pause for just a little bit, because I really don't need to rush through the game anymore for the specific event character, because by the time she goes away, the PS Premium subscription will be gone for like a day or two. I just noticed he's getting hit in the head with a coin. But, yeah, like... I don't really know exactly what I'll play Master, anyway. I, I don't have room to record any anomalies it. here. This location is suitable to place bait. Let's start setting up. Well done. Reporting in, Officer Ollie. Our ether resource trap has been set. Great work. <sighs> it's done. I didn't think talking with those two would be so tiring. Really? You obviously had no issues with it, Miss Nekomata. And what's more, the thing you said just now about using your hands to protect something, it was just like the real thing. If I didn't know you were just pretending to be me, I might have been moved to tears just like Huggins. <clears throat> Wanna know why your acting skills were so bad before Ali? Why? It's because the key to a good disguise is to never completely make everything a lie. I mean, yeah, you could tell that part of what she was saying. She was talking about the cunning hairs. You need real experience, or else I'll see through you. Your words will lack conviction. You have to understand the character you're playing. Adding a hint of real life experience works best. Balancing truth and fiction. <gasps> so that's it. No wonder your story was so touching. It's because it's a true story. Hey, don't just assume other people's experiences. I said at a hint. Anyway, if you hadn't messed up giving up the info, I wouldn't have had to go through all the trouble. I'm so sorry, truly. Hang on, I think I hear something nearby. Ah! Huh? Oh, wait, did you got me? What's going on? Warning. Large numbers of ethereals are converging near the oh. client's location. Hypothesis. This area experiences spatial anomalies that teleport in ethereals from other locations. What? Now of all times? I'll come up with something. As long as he can hold them off for a few minutes. Hold them off? He's scared of them. Come up with something. Officer Ollie, you've seemed a little absent-minded right from the get-go. That's... Ahem. You're right. I've actually had something on my mind. The key to this whole watching weight operation revolves around whether or not these gangsters actually take the ether bait we've laid out for them. That's why I think before we withdraw, we should check nearby for signs of anyone suspicious. Why are you? Uh, no, why would you say it like that? Operation. Gangsters can be tricky after all. You're gonna put get all the arrested if he gets found out. Ah, I see. Drawing on such rich experience. <laughs> My God, Nekomon, no you're leading the operation. You should have just said, "I would like to be sure if we have anyone else out here before we leave, just so we can all get back safely." It's just you've helped me out so much today, running around these hollows, and now I'm asking you to go the extra mile. It feels bad. No, really, it's nothing. Guaranteeing safe operations is what public security officers do. It sure is. I have the greatest respect for you, Officer Ollie, so just give us the order. 
Well, right here's what we'll do. We're gonna split into two groups and search for signs of anything suspicious nearby. If we find anything, radio the other team. Yes, ma'am. What would you like them to do? They should split up together. Yeah, they, they shouldn't be splitting off from each other. They should stick together. So we'll go that way. I'm with you. Proxy, we have to go rescue Ollie. That you, Ollie, you doing this one? These are definitely Ollie's footprints. Yeah. After going to the store today, got myself some Kit Kat bars and a box of Nutty Buddy bars. And, uh, on, so I need to open these things up. And part of me wants to go ahead and things. snack on them already. I hope you can hang in there. Do you really think some wimpy ethereal can stop me? I haven't exactly eaten much today. I've just had, like, a bacon bagel with, um... Just a bagel with bacon and egg in it, and that's all I ate today. If anything, I just need to try and survive throughout the recording so I can, you know, go Holly eat something after I'm done. Never <laughs> Fuck! He's alive! He must have slapped them off the edge or something. Ollie! Hey, Ollie! You can stop shaking now, everything's fine! <sighs> Miss Nekomata! Proxy! You made it! Oh no. If you're here, does that mean the entire operation has failed all because of me? It hasn't failed! I managed to think up a way to send those two off. <sighs> I'm completely exhausted! You know, you better take responsibility for turning a simple operation into such a mess. If you can't crack the case and get our commission V, I'll never let you off the hook. You got that? <laughs> Ollie? Ollie, answer me! I think Ollie's still in a state of shock. Uh, no, I I'm feeling okay now. I just can't stop thinking about something. Has teaming up with you all, or rather my idea of receiving a commendation, been unrealistic from the start? Watching how you handled things over the course of the operation today left me thinking. You can easily deal with anything that gets thrown at you, but I have only caused you trouble. I got the meeting place wrong, I can't even protect myself from ethereals, and I can't even provide you with the right intel when you need it. Hey, Ollie! That's enough grumbling for now, okay? Nobody can easily handle every single thing that gets thrown at them. Didn't I tell you before? I almost ended up losing my life for nothing thanks to one bad guy. I wasn't lying about that. So there's actually lots of things I can't do. There are traces of ethereals all around you, Ollie. You must have wiped them out in a panic, right? Uh, really? I didn't even notice. Ollie, you were the one who came up with using Internet against these gangsters. You were the one leading this operation, and you were the one who took down these ethereals just now. Who kept yourself alive until we got here. Don't you get it? You're nowhere near as bad as you think. Stop being so hard on yourself. And turn your personal experience and your personality into your very own secret weapon. Huh? It's a message from those other officers. Yes, this is Ollie. What's going on? Ma'am, your intuition and foresight are truly remarkable. Huh? Ma'am, not long after we split up, we spotted this sneaky figure around the setup point, so we apprehended him immediately. This kid was dressed up like a gangster. He might have something to do with the gang we're looking for. Where are you right now? We'll head to you immediately, and we can go to the 12th precinct together. What? 
go into the precinct together? Delaney, Huggins, wait a sec. I'm really far away from you right now. Why don't you take him back to the 11th precinct? That, uh, it wouldn't be proper. It's totally fine. You two apprehended the suspect, so the credit's all yours. You should take him back to the 11th precinct for interrogation. Go on now, quickly! I've just taken out another assignment. I'll be watching closely as to how your interrogation goes. Good luck! All right. Thank you, ma'am. Great work. That's weird. They only mentioned it offhand. They never thought they'd actually catch a criminal. If you go back with them to their precinct, Dolly, it'll blow our cover. So we have to give them the credit for this arrest. But I'm a little anxious about the outcome of the interrogation. So dust yourself off and hurry back to your precinct. Contact me the moment you hear anything. Okay, you got it. Huh. I'm not sure how to think about this outcome. I feel like Nekomana could have made things a little... Okay, where the hell was the last... Where was the last one even at? <sighs> Whatever. Proxy, Ollie's already headed off. Let's call it a day as well. <sighs> I'm so tired. Forgive me for not taking Eos back. I never expected you to be such a good teacher, Nekomata. Hey, come on! What are you saying? Oh, even my ears are blushing. I mean, we put in a lot of work today. If we leave them now, we'd be throwing away our investment. How can I put this? Whenever I used to see a public security officer, I would just avoid them. But after working with these two, I realized they're just a bunch of average Joes. You've also been running around all day, Proxy. Thanks. I bet we'll be getting a message from Ollie sometime soon. Let's get some rest for now. I'll contact you if I hear anything. Despite the twists and turns, the operation went smoothly. We're safe thanks to Nekomata's quick reaction. Yeah, who would have thought a simple operation could turn out to be so dangerous? Hm. I knew Nekomata was quick-witted, but I guess I underestimated her. It's just a relief Nekomata is our friend and not our foe. Alright, what do you think about the guy who got caught by the security officers from the 11th precinct, Val? Maybe we got lucky? Yeah, I also find the timing of that guy showing up a bit too convenient. Hmm, maybe we can trace that guy back to the gang the public security is after. Anyway, let's wait for an update after Ollie's interrogation. And we ain't taking a break, we getting right back in there. Just got a message from Nekamata and she wants to meet up at the parking lot. She sounds kind of serious in the text. What happened? Proxy, if the public security officer found out who you are, how long do you think you could withstand being interrogated before confessing? I'm a proxy, not a pyromaniac. I'm just saying, but maybe I'm being too cautious. Ollie's interrogation has concluded. Public security is quite efficient. As things stand, we may be- we seem to be getting the answers we need, but my intuition tells me something is wrong. Very few gangsters who roam the streets are willing to reveal things so readily. I'm not sure if the public security is more experienced in interrogation techniques, but... Never mind. Something just feels off. That's why I wanted to talk to you in person. Let's talk inside your store. After returning to the store with Nekomata, everyone listens to her recount- to her recount her meeting with Ollie. Miss Nekomata, 11th Precinct has sent over the results of their interrogation. That sneaky dude they found lurking around the hollows is actually from the gang we're going after. He's already the rest of the red He told bling? us how they sent him out to snoop around because they'd heard about and were interested in our bait. Oh, and under what circumstances did he give up this information? Huh? Why do you ask? Is that important? Of course. If he keeps silent, then there's definitely a connection. But if he gets suddenly angry, then perhaps you misread the situation. Or perhaps you're completely right. If he keeps saying, I can't say, it means there are conditions you have to meet before he'll talk. A gang member capable of hollow exploration like this is certainly no amateur. If he won't spill everything out of desperation, you should be very skeptical about anything he says. <sighs> you're so knowledgeable! 
But the interrogation was carried out by the 11th precinct, so we only have access to the written report. There's no way of knowing the specifics of the interrogation. And there's something else that's troublesome. If this guy doesn't report back to his gang, it might expose our trap. So, to avoid that possibility, the precinct decided to immediately use him in a sting to catch the rest of his gang. They asked him to leak info to his gang, saying that the ether resources are legit, and the gangs decided to make a move on it. Oh, uh, meow. Something about this operation still seems fishy to me. I'll just have to bite my tail and go with the flow for now. That's everything that happened. According to that gang member, the gang tends to use a pretty large group for the robbery. There's a small team of three to four individuals assigned to handle the transportation and disposal of the stolen goods once the job is done. Ollie's mission this time is to lead a small team along with a defected gang member and capture those involved in fencing the stolen goods. They'll head to the Hollow in a little while to carry out the mission. You seem a little concerned. Is everything okay? If the gangster's confession was true, then everything should be fine. But, and maybe it's because I grew up in a street gang myself, something tells me we should find out more about that guy first. Since the precinct has already drawn up a plan to capture them, though, neither we nor Ollie have a choice in the matter. I've already talked to him. This time, we're gonna follow him at a distance and play things by ear. If he needs our help with anything, he'll find a way to message us in secret. Sorry, give me a second. I have to have a point to make here. Uh... Let me finish this Kit Kat. Matter of fact, let me put these away. Because I really shouldn't be already getting into them the day I got them. Because they're supposed to be a snack for, you know, other times. Not right now. Anyway, okay, so, my thing here is, Nekomata's pretty worried about who this gangster is supposed to be, and she thinks that there, you know, could be something big and dangerous going on. The only idea I have here is that this gang member could be a gang member from a very notorious dangerous gang, and that having that guy captured and fucked with is going to like unleash war on like the town that's the worst that i'm thinking of i don't know what else could be horribly wrong with capturing this gang member so that's what really the only point i wanted to make <clears throat> so it seems like nekomana's study is about observing Wait, what we've already knew that you're not gonna say anything different in part three? Mm. Well, whatever. Standing by. Let's move. All right, let's go. <sighs> Reporting in, Officer Ollie. Our team and the main force at the resource point are all in position. Operation Watch and Wait is ready to go. Over. Roger that. Oh, he's actually in a all uniform. Right, Alberto. You're our informant, so it's time for you to take the stage. Yeah, give your boss a call. Y yes, sir. They're setting up some kind of trap. H Hello? Yeah, boss, it's me. Alberto. Glad you still remember who's boss. My patience was seconds away from wearing thin after not hearing from you in so long. S sorry, boss. I had a problem with my carrot and only just got it fixed. B but it's all sorted now. Uh, you better not mess this up. I've got the location that you sent over. Is it the right place? The voice sounds familiar. Don't worry. I got the scoop when I was out gathering intel last time. All right. We're gonna get the goods now. You go meet up with the vehicles. Out. It's not Roger Craig Smith. Said, I don't think it could be. Okay. <laughs> uh, next, you'll take us to the ones responsible for selling the stolen goods. Mm. Proxy, Ali's group is about to get moving. We should get going too. 
Oh, jeez. Master, please remotely assist Ollie in reaching his destination. I have updated your system. Please make sure detected an electrical switch that controls the door. I've marked the location of the switch in your system. It's open! Your virtual assistant is useful. Ethereum! This isn't good. We can close the door with that button over there so Ollie will know he should switch paths. Miss Nikomata, your help from afar is invaluable. No worries, just keep going. Leave the rest to me. Cause every night I will see you alive.